pressing forward with the uh, pulley project, uh, I failed to record part of it, uh, which is actually kind of uh, was kind of neat for me. I made this uh, tapered arbor. The pulley has a 5 8 uh, interior bore, and so you know they sell these uh, tapered arbors. <clears throat> Not very expensive or anything, but I just, you know, felt like, hey, let's see if I can make one. Um, so, just by adjusting the tailstock over a little bit, um, I got it to where, at this end, I've got uh, 0.623 or 622, I think. And then down at this end, I've got 0.627. Uh, this actually has, uh, the, the interior bore is a little bit shy of 65 at the moment, because I was... I've got a reamer, but I've got to do some adaptation to make the reamer work with my equipment. So for the time being, I used a boring bar and got it out to 624. So, you know, it fits about right here. You know, not too bad. Um, anyway, so kind of proud of that. First time I got to use my uh, um, lathe dogs, you know, this the uh, first time I've turned between centers, put it that way. Everything up till now that I've done has always been using um, the three-jaw chuck at this end. I don't own a four-jaw yet. Uh, so so far, so good. Taper seems to be working fine. I started my first rough cut on this, and I'm going to take a few more thousands. This is a five-inch um, blank that I've got to turn down to four inches. Right now I'm just cleaning it up so I can get a good measurement on it. Too bad. I think maybe the tip of my uh, my insert here might be a little a little beat. Might have been sharpened up a little bit. It should have a little bit of radius. I've had better finishes from it off. <clears throat> you know, I get conflicting advice on the web about aluminum. Um, you know, don't use carbide. Use carbide. Uh, better to cut dry. Better with some kerosene or whatever. Um, Anyway, I, <clears throat> I think up till now I've gotten better finishes uh, with carbide than with my high-speed steel, but that could come down to how well I'm cutting my high-speed steel. I've ordered some, uh, some new um, tool holders uh, so that I can have some ready in high-speed steel and not have to be changing out 
you know, uh, when I want to just switch back and forth and experiment. <clears throat> I'm kind of lazy about that. And so for right now, I'm just uh, leaving this carbide in here. I might flip it around and go to a different point and see if I get a better finish. All right, so I had a little bit of a battery goof. Um, long story short, I decided to go ahead and come back to uh, a high-speed steel bit uh, because I was not, I mean, you can probably hear this one. <laughs> see the serrations there. So we'll see how much better the finish looks on this one, using this one. Start taking off 10 thousandths. not happy with all that chatter and the finish doesn't really look better and it's probably a function of all that chatter so I'm gonna figure out what's going on here what I could tighten <clears throat> actually that looks like that's gotten a lot looser than it should be so I'll come back just after doing some tightening and see uh, see how much uh, difference right, I thought this angle might be better so I'm uh I'm going to try again. I tightened uh, the gibs on the actual carriage. And I went back to the shower angle of attack for the 